guys, it's Arit here. Welcome to another video on the Estatino Artist channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to custom brand your live streams, make it look more professional and fit, fit in your logo, your colors, your brand colors, all that kind of stuff within your live stream. So I'm going to show you how to do that using StreamYard. Now, if you're not already familiar with StreamYard, StreamYard is a way to stream to multiple platforms at once to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. You can stream to, to specific groups within Facebook or your profile, um, Twitter as well. It allows you to stream to multiple platforms and be able to manage all of your con your comments, your banners, your brand, everything right from within the platform. So it's super user friendly and we've been using it, we've been live streaming daily for the past 42 days at the time of filming this video and it's been awesome. We get so much questions on what are you using to live stream your platform because they see the way that it looks all slick with the brand and everything. And so if you are interested in checking it out, I will have the link to StreamYard in the description below so you can click on that. But in this video, it's going to be basic. I'm not going to show you how to do the live stream or anything like that. Let's just look at how to brand your live streams to make it look really nice. So we have our logo up here at the top, as you can see, um, and I created this overlay so that it would say this banner here with our logo and it's saying live show. And also you have the ability to create banners within the platform. And while you're doing your live stream, if at any point you want to feature a website or give a certain call to action, for example, you can preload those banners in here and it will show it up on the live stream with your brand colors. So that's how you can customize these types of call to action banners within StreamYard. All you need to do is click on create a banner. You would type in your text over here and you can choose whether to make it like a, a ticker so it's scrolling across the bottom or not. Um, this is the static banner, so this is without the checkbox. But let's just say I wanted it to scroll, so I would click on that and it would scroll at the bottom. You can have that going uh, during your live stream throughout the whole thing if you want. So it's super easy to create those types of banners. And the way to actually customize these colors that you see here is within the brand section over here. So when you click on that, you can create multiple brand palettes within StreamYard. So if you're not just using it for one channel, you're using it for another brand, you can add preload all of those things right in here. So we have our Esatino brand uploaded in here. And right off the bat, the color that we use is this purple, plum purple that you see here. So you can click on that and easily, you know, select your color from there or just put the, the hex code in there right away. You can select the, the way that you want your banners to show. So if you want it more minimal like this, or if you want it to show with, your, with the color, you can do that as well. If there isn't a, a banner showing, so I'm going to hide that. Without the banner showing, you'll just see uh, the person's name on the side there. So just something to keep in mind. Um, so your logo. So you can put something like your 150 by 150 pixel logo over here. So we used our favicon, which we don't really use, but just to show you, it places it in the top right corner of the screen. So if you have something like this, for example, that you wanted to create with your logo, you could do that as well. Um, we don't have anything there, but this is what we do have is the overlay. Now, the overlay is actually an image that is mostly transparent, but this, this banner that you see here was created in Photoshop. But now you don't need to be able to create it in Photoshop. If you don't have that, you can create this in Canva and you can also create this in other platforms. Whatever you can use to create an image file, this is what you'll be uploading into the overlay. So let me show you how to create this. So I have the site photor.com up. It's like Canva, um, but you can use Canva as well. Um, I'll just show you quickly how to do it. So you can click on create a design and I imagine the process would be similar in Canva. Um, if you know how to use Photoshop, this will be really easy for you. 
basically you just need the image to be 1280 by 720 so make sure your canvas size is that those dimensions and um, and then let me show you how to create it as well those dimensions of 1280 by 720 are is the same as a YouTube thumbnail so I'm just gonna click down here on YouTube thumbnail so it'll already create the canvas in that size for me we have the canvas the right size that we want um, you can see here they have templates for everything but let's just stick to our goal which is creating the banner I'll show you how to create something like what I have so you go to stickers you go to basic shapes and then click on this one up here so I'm gonna place that at the top and resize it let's do this all right um, make it your brand color so whatever that might be let's just say it's blue and you can add a shadow on it if you like you can click over here create a little bit of a shadow and you can adjust there's some there's you know you can spend a lot of time level of detail in here I'll just show you the basics so let's say you have that for now and let's go back here on the banner I'm I put like a live show thing and then the logo so let's do the same thing here so I'm gonna create that live square so this is gonna be red and I'm gonna put some text on it so we're gonna go to text it's going to be a body text and type out live let's make that a bold font so let's scroll up here let's go railway black and make it bigger all right and let's make it white to stand out on the red better all right so I'm going to move that into place Okay, let's make that smaller and then I'm using my keyboard just to get the right placement all right so now I'm gonna move these two pieces in place I'm gonna have the red box let's just make that smaller and have it tilted up here let's put that there and now the text again I'm gonna tilt that and move it into place with my keyboard so that's what we have so far and then you can put your logo here or if you don't have a logo you just want to put the name of the channel let's just say so let's just put that's the name of my channel <laughs> test uh, you can also change up the font so again let's use railway black and I'm going to make that white again so there's contrast uh, let's make it a little smaller so it's not in your face let's go 80 all right okay and I think on the on ours we had okay we had the logo and then live and then show if you are by the way bringing in an image file then you can easily do that instead of just having the text so I'll show you how to do that. You can go to image over here where it says import. And let's just say this is your logo, all right? This is an image file that was on my desktop. So once that's loaded up, you just click on it and it will put it on the canvas. And then you can make it smaller or whatever you like and then move it, drag and drop it into place. So that's how you would import your logo image if you had that. And you want to make sure that it's your logo is on a transparent background so that it sits nicely on top of the banner so that's something simple here you can even add more text and put show um, that's something that we had up here we had live show um, or whatever the name of your live stream is so let's say you did that it's ready to go you want to hit save you want to make sure it's on PNG because that will create the transparent background and you want to click on apply transparent background so make sure you check that box and in order to download the high quality version of this you will need to sign in now it's a free account 
um, if you want to sign up for Fotor. But you can also change this to normal and then you won't need to sign in at all. You can just download this regular file. Um, I do recommend actually having the high res file, the, the higher quality, just because it'll look better. But if you don't prefer to sign up for an account, you can download the normal one easily. And then it spits out the file in the downloaded, uh, in my downloaded folder. So what we're going to do is come back in here to overlay, click on upload, go to my downloads folder, and this is right here. See, it's the file over here. I'll double click on that. And then it's loaded up so I can easily switch out my banner to this new one that I just created here. So you can see here, it was pretty simple to create that overlay. I'm just going to put it back to, to this. Um, and by the way, if you did have this, then make sure you know it, it is changed to your brand color. So if, you, if this is your brand color, the blue, make sure you come up here and change it to that exact blue color uh, so that everything ties in nicely. It has a professional feel to it. Now, this background over here, uh, you can see here, if I remove myself from the stream, this is the background that we have on our live streams. So if I have multiple people on the live stream um, that I'm, you know, maybe I'm interviewing someone or if I'm sharing my screen, this will kind of be the backdrop for those, those things. So you can see the different layouts within StreamYard here that it allows you for it. So this is a full, you can see here it filled up the entire screen, but um, maybe I have this one right here where it puts two of us side by side and it will show that background in all of the, the extra space around it. So this right here is having two people with sharing screen. Again, it will show this background that I have here. So you want to choose something that is very minimal, I would, I would say. So what I did to get this really sleek background here is I just went to a royalty free image website like pixabay.com where you can search for all kinds of backgrounds. So I'll just show you quickly pixabay.com. These are royalty free images that you can download. You're allowed to use them. Make sure if you're going to a different site that you are allowed to use it or you can create something in Canva or the platform that I just showed you to just have a solid color background. So you can do that as well. But you can easily, if you are wanting an image, you can come in here and um, you know type in some keywords like if you're looking for a white background and you can see all of these textures here that you can click on and then download it easily. So you can load up multiple backgrounds if you're doing different live stream segments. You can load up multiple overlays and you can easily just delete them from here as well. It's super user friendly. Like I said, if you are interested in checking out StreamYard, the link will be in the description below. I say it's highly worth it if you are someone who's doing a lot of live streams because it allows you to manage everything from one place and being able to stream to multiple platforms is just it's, it makes things so much easier than, a, than like OBS, for example. So guys, that's how you customize your live streams using StreamYard. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more good stuff coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.